So the thing about range that's hard, you know, we're talking about, you know, you'll have several problems that say what find the domain and range of this function. And the thing about domain that's cool is there's like a few kind of steadfast rules or scenarios where you'll you'll say, oh, there's a domain issue. And remember, domain is whatever x can be, right? But I think um, range is a little harder because the bad news is you actually have to think. Like, there's not really totally steadfast rules. You have to look at the little situation and ask yourself, what can y be? Range, what can y be? <laughs> so as an example, here's one where, you know, you'll say like, okay, here's a function, y equals 2x. This, the range is going to be all real numbers. Remember, that little double R thing is the cool way to write all real numbers. And the reason is, is can I get a negative? Yes, I can totally get a negative y. I just put in a negative x, two times a negative, it would work, right? Can I get zero? Yes, if I put zero in for x, I would get zero for y. And then can I get a positive? And obviously you can. If I put any positive in for x, I'd get a positive y. So that's what I mean when I say you have to think. You really have to th think. I, I break it into three categories for range. Can I get a negative? Can I get zero? And can I get a positive? And kind of play with it. So this one is totally straightforward, but here's a couple that are kind of confusing, right? So what if you had, and I'll give you the sort of the ones that come up the most frequently as a problem, but here's one, y equals x squared. And you might say, well, domain is all real numbers. I can put anything for x, negative, positive, zero. But range is kind of crazy. I think a lot of people miss this one right out of the gates. There is no situation where you could get a negative y. So range can't be negative. Look, as an example, give me any x, like positive. If I put positive 2, 2 squared is 4, which is positive. What if I put a negative x in? What if I put negative 2 for x, right? What's negative 2 squared? That's a positive 4. So actually, by looking at this, you know right away that there is no case in which I can get a negative y. I can get 0. What's 0 squared is 0. So this one, range would be y is greater than or equal to 0, right? So that's kind of a, a problem right there. Um, I can think of a few other weird ones. Here's another one that kind of comes out weird if you had something like this. y equals 2 over x. You know, x domain <laughs> is not all real numbers, and so neither is the range here. You can get a positive if I put 100 in here. I think I could get a negative if I put negative 100 for x. But can you ever get a 0, right? What could I put in for x to get a 0 y? The answer is nothing. If I put 0 into x, that's illegal. You can't have zero in the denominator. So this one, again, range would be everything. It would be y it does not equal zero. So the range is everything except for zero. So I think the take-home message, again, is you, um, you have to play with them. I'm going to give you one more scenario that's super weird and pretty common. And then you'll kind of, at least you'll have seen the weirder ones in your life. And maybe you'll be more likely to get them right. Okay. So here's another one. Let's see. I'll get this one out of here, too. Okay. So in the case of logs, right, like what if you had this? You had something like this. Y equals, you know, actually we'll do two. We'll do root x plus two, and then you'll do y equals log, right, of x. In this case, remember, can you have the root of a negative? Is there such thing as the root of a negative? And the answer, except for I, imaginary numbers, is no. So this one, I could put anything I want for uh, x in there. That's a lie. I can't get a negative on the inside. But no matter what, at the end of the day, you can have the root of 0. And you can get a positive, but you can't get a negative. So your range would be y is greater than or equal to 0 for any root situation. Honestly, let's just make a deal right now. You can sort of memorize some of these scenarios based on my little speech, and that might be helpful. This one is y is greater than 0 because you cannot get, this can't come out to 0 no matter what in any circumstances. It can come out positive. But you cannot get an a answer here where it comes out to negative. So that's it. I mean, sorry for the bad news. Range is a little harder than domain. But I really recommend that you just sort of solve them in your head. Uh, not in your head, you know, whatever, scratch paper or in your head. And kind of play with them and see what the outcome is. And if you're struggling in Algebra 2 at your local high school, you can take this online in Silicon Valley High School. Pass it there and the credits will be transferred back to your school.